It's the group cast podcast, a show about stuff like stupid jokes and Charlie folks and random ass topics with Casey Bless and special guests like Fred and Danny, Kyle, Riley, Lennon's there too. This is their theme song, it's pretty cool. Just don't ask Wes to sing the rest because he'll forget the words to sit right down and gather round, but not too close because they were so ugly that everyone died. <clears throat> podcast. Apparently we're just starting. Yeah. Best intro ever. <laughs> Best intro ever. As always, I am Big West. As, as, as well as also having Casey. Full of essential nutrients such as iron, calcium, semen, and magnesium. Skin. Various organs. Lennon. With real life motions, sound bites, and lasers. And semen. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Erica. And jelly beans. Very good. Yeah, I got some of that. Yeah, we got a whole bag of them. And introducing. Introducing. Brent, introducing. Get the dicks out of your ears. You said introducing. Introducing the new to the show, our, our good friend Wes Williams. Woo! Good to be here. Woo! Yeah, you Woo! say that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's my house. I like being in my house. I like being in my apartment. I don't like new places. I'm a bit of a. He's so graciously. <laughs> he's so graciously invited us over. To do the show here, he's slowly starting to realize that was a terrible, terrible idea. Awful mistake. Awful. Awful. Really regret the decision. So, yeah. well, let's jump right into it. Ray Rice is a sex offender. Hold on. <laughs> Robin Williams oh, is still dead. Robin Williams is still dead. How about that Ferguson thing, huh? <laughs> That's crazy. You, you and are Uzis. And Uzis. <laughs> you are one of our friends. Yes. Who. We well, I know you. Yeah, we we've mentioned you you a few times on the show in in good company. Tell us a little about blah, 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 blah. Tell, about Tell us about yourself. Oof. Well, uh, I'm from parts unknown. I come in at five foot seven, about two hundred and twenty pounds. Um, my finisher is like an altered power bomb, <laughs> uh, usually off the top rope. And, um, you know, I just really like to rile people up. Uh, I let them know, uh, hey, sometimes if you're cooking in something, I can smell it. Um, I let them know that. I like to let people know when that happens. Um, I, when I ask questions, I only accept responses in hell yeah <laughs> or hell no form. <laughs> um, so, basically, I've, I'm just a shitty little flabby man who does comedy because I was too little and shitty for pro wrestling. Yeah. I, have, I have a question. Yeah, yeah. you. Yeah. In the does back. Any, yeah, does, yeah does, you. Does anybody ever do wrestling moves off the middle rope? Sometimes. Yes. The, bit, the, the, the moon moves. salt. Don't try this. The very, Don't the try it. Be funny. I know it. I was going to say, because that seems like you're just half-assing it. What was what was that one that John Morris? Really one more ass. rope. Oh. <laughs> I can't remember what it was, but it was it was really fucking cool. Um, I, I don't remember what it was called. It was the one where he lands on the guy. Yeah, that one. one Sometimes of, he doesn't. One of my favorite things in pro wrestling so is people funny, being purposely funny. shitty. Yeah, like one of my favorite finishes of all time. Uh, first off, you have to know uh, uh, Shawn Michaels. Yes, has a move where. It's sweet chin music, which is basically just kicks you in the chin. <laughs> <laughs> it's very straightforward. It sounds lovely. Sweet chin music. Yeah. But one of my favorite things of all time, and Big West, you might remember this, is when Mick Foley did his Dude Love. Yes. And for one match only, he, his finisher was sweet chin music. <laughs> and he would rile the crowd up and then deliver a devastating kick right to your ankle. <laughs> Just kick it out of yeah. And then, like, you'd have to sell it. Yeah. Like, a pound of bricks just went on the top of your <laughs> skull. Like, <laughs> off the bottom rope. Yeah. Off the bottom rope. Oh. My God! He might be five, six inches off the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get an ambulance. Uh, uh, it's getting intense in here. Uh, oh, man. He's here, too, apparently. <laughs> Next in. The Satan. Lord of the Underground. <laughs> Give him a My look. God! <laughs> Give him a little bit of earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Juggernaut. Thanks for joining us, Satan. That's terrifying. I don't know what's going on anymore. I've already lost track. Oh, we've already descended into madness. Uh, we descended into madness. We never long. have tracks. Why do you think we have tracks? I don't know. Okay, I haven't got here. What are we talking about? And everybody's like, I don't know. <laughs> 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 
is how it goes. Half yeah. the people here we, are paying attention. There's five of us. We like, do that for an hour and a half. One of us is only half there. Well, that would be me. There yeah. you go. That's me. At, at least, at least. We know who it is. At least we know yeah. who it is. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Um. I wanted to say something. I can't remember what it was. Okay, then I'll take your place. You know, it's not like go that's ahead, your entire Casey. purpose of being here. <laughs> oh, I forget. Good night, everybody. <laughs> there you go. So, there, people are dumb on the internet, as you are all aware. Yes. No. What? Yeah. We're, we're currently recording I've... this for the internet to be dumb later. <laughs> but but we're dumb gonna, now. What are they going to do? Not listen to us. Wait, I feel like uh, just as a sidebar, are we shouting into the ball on the floor? Yes, yes we are. Okay, I didn't. I feel like I'm real far behind. Don't ruin the immersion. <laughs> shouting into the ball on the we're floor. We're just talking. The ball into, on the floor. We're just talking into the internet. Ball in a cup. Yeah. Ball on the floor. Ball, ball on the floor. floor. It's, it's a ball, ball on the floor. floor. It looks ball like we should be practicing like our lightsaber well, battles with it. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got yeah. a very hologram. Don't going. don't talk about it. We we've, we've just started we're immersed. I, I, I just just got them to shut up about it's how it's the fight club of Michael. It's called it's called a snowball, but it's black. Also, it says blue. Oh light. no! Also that. Like oh, it's not a snowball. It's black. Uh, it's dumb in three colors. <laughs> White, it's chrome, just death, black. It's a death snowball. Yeah. Shut up. Nope. People are dumb on the internet. Yes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I find about two new fads that are going around. Oh yeah. god. Oh, oh, this could only be good. Uh, and I, one probably, of these is where you lie. On the train tracks. Oh, I saw that. And yeah. you lie flat so that the train doesn't hit you. You know, I actually don't yeah. mind that trend because the people who want to exactly. do that, we don't want them here in the first exactly. place. Exactly. So that's just weeding up the terrible people. The like, other one. To oh. take that in a gross direction, real quick. Oh, boy, um, here we go. Okay, gross is good. <laughs> and on the way to the Wizard awesome. Lounge, usually, like, me and Shane, uh, in this past week, Big West came with us. We okay. were uh, Shane Gillis for mm-hmm. my listeners at home. Uh, we were riding in, and I made the mistake. We were talking about the grossest videos we had ever seen on the internet. Oh, God damn it! And, and you can only go. Up is from is there. this like? Are we allowed to say naughty things here? Oh yeah, say whatever you want. Fuck we, yeah. Whatever okay. you want. But this is gonna get real Duck naughty, you guys. Just so yeah. you know, we had a black guy on a, a few episodes ago, <laughs> and we were. Totally That's pretty naughty. We were totally Everybody knows those black guys are naughty as hell. <laughs> everybody was talking totally, all the time. You thought it was a movie. Was everybody fantastic. was totally racist to him. <laughs> And nobody cared. So anyway, this guy's getting fucked to death by a horse. Yeah. And oh, we're yeah. listening uh, to this video. And the thing is, I'd seen it before, uh, but just listening to it might be worse. But really, it was like it was burdened to your eyelids. Oh, yeah. like, I didn't... I didn't cause there's, no, 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 no. Because you can tell, like, uh, first off, this horse dick uh, looks like this my horse arm. dick. <laughs> this horse dick in question. There might be little horse dicks. I'm going to talk what's about really in my this ears. specific... Horse dick. There may be inferior horses. I have nothing to compare it to. It might be the Ron Jeremy of horse dicks for all I know. But this guy, he's like really proud about taking this horse dick. And he takes like maybe up to the, let's say, the elbow of the horse dick. So he's just like being fisted. The dick has an elbow. And so at this point, he's happy. He thinks he's done it. And he's like, ugh. But he's like, (laughs) but he's like making happy dying noises. But, happy, it's a happy death. But here's the thing: is the horse, horse the horse doesn't stop at the elbow. Like its next thrust takes it up to like the armpit of the theoretical. Oh shit! And so he goes from like, just like oh, oh, yeah. and like you can hear like his body tearing apart, and yeah. it's just mushing his internal organs as this thing is just <laughs> making mashed potatoes out of his liver and his kidneys, and he's just going oh. <laughs> and this horse is fucking the shit out of him. And the whole time, the cameraman's like patting him on the back. He's like, you got it. You got it, buddy. And like, I just hear this. Ah. And then finally, like, this guy's just dying. And the horse finishes and pulls out. And the guy filming the video, like, pats him on the ass. Like, he just got a tackle in a football game. He's like, he came. He came. Good job. He came. And all of his intestines just fall out. No, he really did die like minutes after that video was shot. This was a guy in Washington who died. Um, but the point was, what was my point for talking about this? Oh, don't get fucked by I think horse. the point was that they found our, our limit on filter. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to bleep that. In gross, the video. gross things that you see on the internet. That, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the point was, I said, like, you know, it kind of sucks watching that because I know that guy die afterwards. Right. And Shane Gillis says, no, it doesn't because if you want to fuck horses, I don't want you around. Like that should have been the end of that guy. We don't need him making our food <laughs> or no, like 
being part of our political system. Like, that man had a vote that he could <laughs> use to manipulate our future. Like, him getting fucked to death was 100% the best thing that could have happened from that <laughs> thing happening. So, yes, some of these trends on the internet are a very good Darwinian way of just kind of weeding out the Absolutely. people just who need to get hit by trained or horse sticks or what have you. There's always going to be a new Slapping thing to get killed by. Stick. I want to see the one brave fat kid who tries this. Because <laughs> yeah. absorb it all, right? I just want to say, He'll after after being out. sealed in a car with that, that's the only thing I could think of for like the next two days. So I ended up looking it up, and I finally got Five Nights at Freddy's at Freddy's out of my head. Yeah, yeah. and now I can't Compared get to that, like, now I can't get horse stick out of my head. I bleach, yeah, I bleach. Thank you, watch that. That video turned out fantastic. I yes, love it the did. I, I love the slogan. Did you see it? I, I think you should see I, it. Yes. Have sure. you heard of the game that's sweeping the internet, Five Nights at Freddy's? No. It's incredible. I Why? Think, let's it's not. Horrifying. We should is it like talk. Freddy Krueger, or is it no. just another scary man named? It's Freddy. like Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Only scary. But it's a bear. I yeah, it's like Chuck E. Cheese and the bear. I had the animals come to life. Oh yeah. I've had I had Amber play that game. I've and you're a security her, guard. I told her nothing about it. You gotta try and keep them from getting killed. Let's, I'll wait. let's 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 not, not say I thought much you went off I thought how. you went off on topic. Let's no. just say So I was trying to continue. I well to, I wanna to, say to fill you in why on don't we have Wes play the game once we're done. There you go. To fill you in you specifically. I knew very, very little about this game. I knew it was really scary, but other than that, I didn't know a whole lot about it. Out of, like, what is it, an eight-minute video? Yes. Mm -hmm. About half of it is me screaming at the top of my lungs like a little girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. My favorite part of the whole video is after some sort of somewhat minor scare, where you were screaming for a while, you just stop and go, Ah! <laughs> 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 So they're like aftershock scared. Yeah. yeah. Or his brain caught up and was like, no, you're right, that's scary. <laughs> yeah. Or when you throw the chair. It's a, yeah, it's, it's um, one of my at, favorite at the, games at the right end now. when I finally did die, I got so scared I jumped up and jumped over the chair I was sitting in. Oh, yeah. The chair went back and you went, whoop! Yeah. See, yeah, I don't know if this game is for me. Did. Like uh, when I was in middle school, Resident Evil Nemesis came out. Ooh, and I don't know if y'all remember one. this game. But the best part of this game is, for anybody who hasn't played this, is the nemesis is like actually like a monster that's nigh unkillable. Yeah. And basically, it'll just randomly attack you throughout any part of the game, which makes it kind of like innovative, at least for the mainstream video games coming out at that time. Is that like, I agree. No matter how many times you played through that game, like you never really, except for a couple points where it had to happen, like where you have to. Kind of disable him for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you had yeah. to figure out ways to escape from the nemesis, and like he had like a Gatling gun, it was like a whole thing. Oh, rocket launcher, he's big on the rocket launcher. Yeah, and like, like the, the thing that made him scary, like it, it was a little bit like Doomsday in like Superman, where it picks up like that one word and yeah. just kind of like it's like the reverse of like a Hindu chant, like instead of like calming you, it freaks you out. Yeah, remember because all he could say was stars. stars? Oh yeah, and you just grumble stars, stars, <laughs> stars. It's like if like a homeless man yeah. just jumped out of me randomly throughout points in my life, and it was just like <laughs> stars, stars. It would, I would just kill myself. I couldn't live with an unkillable homeless man, <laughs> like even if it didn't attack me, even if he just like showed up at like my wedding, or just like I went to like fucking Starbucks and he's just hiding and like I grab my frappuccino, Star 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 I'm like no, 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 a controller. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's how we feel about the Toriador song now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? The, that, the song. The that... song that plays when you lose. Oh yeah. Like, there's something special about the impending dread of something you know is going to happen. Like, yeah. a movie... This game. this game is fairly random also. This so. game is full of that shit. Yeah. yeah. I've, a movie I saw that had that same sense of dread, and I've watched this fucking flick, I don't know, probably like seven or eight times now, and I still jump. Have any, has anybody here ever seen Mulholland Drive? I've heard, I've heard, of, heard of it. Yeah. Never seen it. Fill us in. You don't know anything about it. I don't well, know about it. It's a really, really hard to understand dense movie, but basically the overall plot is that this actress is driving in a limousine, and it turns out the limousine driver wants to kill her. Someone's hired this limousine driver to kill her. She fights back, and they drive off a cliff. She gets amnesia, walks into some random house, and this woman helps her try to piece together why someone was trying to kill her, yada, yada, yada. Mm. 
but it's also interspliced with just like standalone vacuum stories that on the surface seem to have nothing to do about the story. And one of them is like a two part and it's total maybe seven minutes long. It's this man and you just see him sitting in a diner. Get back on me. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> sitting in a diner. <laughs> and like he's just nervous and just kind of jittery. And uh, this guy walks in and you can piece together this guy is his psychiatrist, David. <laughs> and uh, he's like, have you been seeing him again? And this guy's like, yeah. And he's like, in fact, I know where he's going to be before I see him. And he's like, when I walk outside... He's going to be, like, behind this dumpster. And he's like, you've got to get this out of your head, man. There's not going to be anybody out there. And so, like, they walk outside. And, like, the way I'm describing it, you, you think, like, oh, well, of course. But it's just, like, this weird, super slow buildup. Yeah. And, like, uh, to, to make a short story uh, long here, basically, <laughs> he's like, well, see, there's nobody out here. And then they turn around, and it's just, like, a weird gorilla man standing right behind him, like, <laughs> and they all go, like, ah, ah, and the guy literally dies of a heart attack. Not he's just, like, <laughs> and then he just falls down, and they both die of heart attacks, and that's just the end of that fucking story, and it has nothing to do with the rest of the movie, but, like, as an, an audience member, like, there's never a time where I watch that scene, and I don't jump because it's just such a close shot, and, like, it builds so slowly where it's, like, huh. this is what's gonna happen. Like, if anything, like, when I was a little kid, people talk about having, like, recurring nightmares and recurring dreams. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I've only ever had two or three recurring dreams in my life. But when I was a little kid, I had an intense fear of being watched through windows. Mm -hmm. And so, like, when I was a little kid, like, the only thing that, like, I used to dream about would be, like, I would be in my room or I'd be, like, in the barn. I used to work in a barn or something like that. Mm -hmm. And, like, slowly turning, knowing the dread... Barn. That when I got to the window, someone would be looking in at me, yeah. and when I did, there would be, and that'd usually be the end of the dream. Yeah. But like that was something that like really like scared the shit out of me as a kid. Yeah, That's me, good to hear. Let me <laughs> tell you about an irrational fear that I used to have that caused uh, recurring nightmares. I don't know if any of you guys uh, watched Sesame Street during like the the nineties. Of course oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. That's what I grew up on. Just saying, some people yeah. haven't. Um, they had. God. <laughs> one, of, one of their one of their like skit scene things was these Weimaraner dogs who would dress up in human clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, yeah, oh it yeah, just, yeah, yeah, it, You would just see their heads. Yep, in the clothes. Yep, but they had human hands. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And that was the creepiest shit to me. It was. I don't know why. Fun. It was weird. And it gave me nightmares all the time. <laughs> A, funny. a weird thing from a kid's oh, show that really unsettled me was like one episode of Reading Rainbow of all fucking shows. <laughs> LeVar Burton was... is terrifying. <laughs> he is. Black people, am I right? And like, uh, he acts all nice now. Thanks, like, Brent. Does he want my wallet? Let's get to it. Um, <laughs> is no, there was this one episode, and I don't even remember why this was, but at the end, he's like, I've got a special guest for you. That's not how LeVar Burton talks. All right. <laughs> but like, it was obviously just like these, it was a white dude and a white lady. And, like, they were obviously just behind a green screen, but all you could see was their heads, and they're like, we are the heads of reading books! And then together they sang that song that's like, upside down, <laughs> girl, you turn me inside out. And while they were, like, singing this dumb song, like, off-key, their little heads were bouncing around, like, around oh, LeVar Burton ooh. as he danced. Yep. Do you okay. remember this? Uh, vaguely. But oh, my God, I remember seeing that and being like, no, LeVar, get out of there! <laughs> Look at that turn on you! And now, oh, and now he wants to bring it back. I've played, uh, like, Ninja Gaiden. Like, I've played games where I know, like, floating heads will get you. Like, there's <laughs> no way around. Was, that, is, was it Ninja Gaiden that had the Medusa heads? Castlevania. 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 Yeah. That's it. One of the, the, the first dream that I can remember having, I had to have been about seven or eight years old, and it was the only first dream ever. And it was the only dream I had, the only dream I ever had that was in black and white. Okay. Well, they say that you only... Was this the Wizard of Oz? No, they say people told me before that you only dream in black and white. I'm like, no, I don't. I dream in color. But anyway, it was black and white. And I'm out in the woods, and I come across this house that's, like, on the water. And I look to my right, and there's Pocahontas' dad. How do you know it's Pocahontas' dad? Because it's Powhatan, obviously. And I'm like, where is she? I need to talk to her. And he's like, she's in the house. So I go to come up to the house... And a sawhorse with a bucket for a head and a broom for a tail chased me. That's <laughs> the so house. Much. That was my dream. 
I was seven years old. That was my fucking dream. So was wow. that Pocahontas or what? It was Pocahontas. Pocahontas the sawhorse. Pocahontas the sawhorse. The whole story. How I don't hilarious like sawhorse. would it be if the next time you go to buy some Land of Lakes butter, there's a fucking sawhorse <laughs> with a bucket for a head there? It's like, eh. and it, it does I like, can't. I've never looked at sawhorses like the same after that. That, that stereotypical uh, sound that you always hear in horror movies, like that really high screeching <laughs> violin, like. <laughs> No. Yeah. yeah. I was singing. <laughs> it sounds more like the car alarm. As I've yeah. gotten older, like I Haunted don't car alarm. jump from like necessarily like dudes with knives or anything like that. Like that's not as inherently because I can just die. Like I can just yeah. fucking die. Yeah. Like I'm already yeah. overweight. I already do shit that's awful for my body. Like I have to embrace <laughs> death every day I wake up. But like the things that scare me now that I'm just fat and 26 is like unsettling things. Like, I'm still really unsettled by, like, the video for Schism by Tool. Mm. Yeah. Where there's just a bunch of weird, skinny people walking around, dangling their heads, just being like, Ugh, just like, I don't know, like, and, and um, oh, another one. The, and don't get me wrong, like, I used to smoke a little bit of weed. Uh, so, like, I remember, <laughs> so, it was like 4 a.m. and, like, everybody had crashed but me and this other Everybody had crashed. Except me. Everybody was dead. <laughs> the cheese eating contest was over. I was victorious. <laughs> to celebrate my, my bloody victory. Uh, yeah, oh my god, who was that band that sings um, Evil? Them. It's oh. Rosemary, heaven restores you in life. Oh, look it up, Lennon. Everybody's sitting here on a laptop like a douchebag. Someone's got to look this up. You know, for nothing me. screams "I'm a douchebag" than screaming "I'm a douchebag." Interpol. Oh my god! Right? Oh my okay, god. so he just saw it. What's up, doll? Is right? There is a doll in that video Wait, that it's is the like it's the thumbnail Wait, to the YouTube. It, it is the video. most Interpol. mortifying doll. Oh, okay. Play that fucking video right now, Lennon. Play it. Oh, Play it, Lennon. Oh, wow. Okay. Seven days from now, you're gonna die, Lennon. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll link it in the links. Do the links. So, for our viewers at home who aren't seeing this nightmare unfold, is there's been a car accident and Interpol's on the scene, you guys. Ooh. And when they show up, everybody's dead except a puppet. And this puppet's just laying oh, there shit. in the street, covered in blood. And it just wakes up and starts singing this oh. song. Fucking play it, Lennon. <laughs> uh, well, it's the fact that I'm. I'm also playing something else, so I'm going really slowly. I want to play this video with the most horrifying, so it'll take like three minutes. Now Let's move on, on, and I'll get to it. <sighs> but the so uncanny, uncanny is that the sound I was going to say, in the meanwhile... Uh, but no, I was going to say, it, the things that are stuck in the Uncanny Valley are something, and if, if you're a listener not knowing, the Uncanny Valley, like people who try to make games like, uh, I don't know, like maybe like Final Fantasy or like Rockstar games where they're trying yeah. to make you know, almost photorealistic, like, images and stuff like that, a problem they come to is that people can accept cartoons and images that aren't people that look like people, like fucking mm -hmm. Mario is not going to creep anybody out. Yeah. But you can go up and up and up and up, and you can look closer and closer and closer and more close to looking like a human being until you hit a place where, I think it's sociologists would call it, the uncanny valley, which is that you look so close to being human. There. Well, so don't sound. <laughs> It's a good yes. song. It's a good song. And for Erica, the guy who drums in this band, <laughs> would later go on to drum for Marilyn Manson. His, I love that. The current drummer? His mouth is like diagonal. <laughs> the current drummer? He's only got bottom um, teeth. I don't know if it's the current drummer. Bottom it, teeth. It's, oh. like, well, when, it, it looks like his mouth was turned upside down. Like looks, his bottom teeth look like top. Yeah. Well, when, did this, when did this come out? Uh, probably like 2003. I don't know. It was a oh, long okay, time Okay, then ago. it's not ginger. He is fish. very surprised right now. That's a sad puppet. Yeah, That's if like, I were watching this when I was like seven, like, I would have killed like, myself a long time ago. Let's see but yeah, look at that fucking <laughs> puppet. Oh, it's like it's like it's the it's flesh. Like some weird claymation. It's the flesh. Shit. And wait, this isn't even yeah, the freakiest part. So right now he's just hanging out at the crime uh, scene and he's like bummed. Where's right? the strings? Who's who's pulling uh, the strings? No, just just wait, just wait because. Basically, right now, he's like, yeah, I'm at like a 9 out of 10 on the creepy level. And they're like, you doing okay, puppet? And he's like, I don't know. I'm pretty bummed, you guys. Just <laughs> wait. We are not even at max creepiness yet. Oh, there goes his nose. Oh, shit. Like, bleeding puppets shouldn't exist. No. Um, he has the impression of a nose. 
Uh, where are we at in this video? Because I won't take up time because I know exactly we're, we're what like I'm looking halfway. for. All right, so we've okay, got it. We just now. just fucking wait. No, he's in the ambulance. Just wait. This moment coming up is what gave me nightmares. I remember specifically looking over at the guy next to me and be like, "No more, no more!" Like I tapped out. Like I couldn't watch the video anymore in my current state of cheesy highness. Oh, now, now he's going to the hospital. This no. is how he's in the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's going on over there? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on over there? It looks like it's... <laughs> I don't know where I'm going at present. Like, but... his skin looks like someone melted white American cheese on a skeleton. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 That is highly accurate. Yeah. It does look like shiny. And, like, his eyes are too big. Like, in anime, they do that to show you who's cute. This is mortifying. This this scares me. They're like taking puppet. He's like, oh, time for puppet surgery, puppet. Puppet surgery. And he's like, oh, what about my friends and shit? And they're like, ah, they're dead. They're dead, puppet. And, and he's, he's like, like, oh no, oh, no, oh god, oh the eyes, he, the eyes yes. are so open. Just oh, there's oh, oh it's coming up. And someone it's, someone this settling. is this is the man in the parking lot scene in Mulholland Drive all over for me because I know it's coming and my heart's not going to be able to take what's about to happen here. Oh, okay. And oh, you're not even going to be freaked out by it because yeah. I still have like that high memory of seeing it for the first time. Going on there. That's it. Look at this fucking puppet. Look at him move now. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Look at his joints. Look at the way his limbs move. Look at his joints. Oh, <laughs> Christ. Oh, oh, no. This really isn't any different from Sesame Street. Oh, no, it's I'm not. tapping out to how jointy and weird he is. <laughs> if, if, if Lennon did this dance right now, the way he's doing it, you would not be welcome in my house. <laughs> you would fucking have to leave. <laughs> this whole oh, thing man. has really that's, bothered me now. That's a thing. Oh, hell. That is and then he just falls asleep. Yeah. A, a similar, like, terrifying level of, of, of music video is uh, Land of Confusion by Genesis. Mm -hmm. You ever okay. seen that? That's terrifying. I can't even say that any of Manson's videos compare to that. That's another one. There's, there's another one I'm thinking of. I can't remember. No. Oh, Just right. looking so for a spoon. I'm looking in the comments this. now. Yeah, where, right. is, where are my Those spoons? Are always good. Out of maybe 20 of them. Like, two of them are like, this is horrifying. <laughs> I want to know what's wrong with these other 18 people. What are they saying? Just like, oh, I love this fucking song. It's a good song. Yeah, uh, but they're only commenting on the song. They're just listening. Not the video. Like, oh, yeah. They're stupid. <laughs> they're not watching anything. They need to be watching things. Yeah. Mm. If that doesn't scare you, like, something awful had to have happened where you're like, that's fine. Like, a guidance you're, counselor with no teeth had to finger your butthole with peanut butter. And you're like, well, you know, it's not a peanut butter finger. Why does it have to be toothless? <laughs> what? I'm just trying to think of the scariest thing. Like, if you woke up and your high school gym teacher was just licking his fingers like, you're, it's time. Like, oh. that, that wouldn't be, that would uh. be scarier than the puppet. No, I'm so. thinking of Mr. O'Brien. Uh. Uh, you have something to tell us. My gym teacher was terrifying. He was terrifying. He would, he would laugh. He terrifying. Whenever he laughed, his, hung, his tongue would hang out of his mouth. He'd go... <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it's a fucking joker. It's a fucking joker. Sounds fun. To, to, to go back to your I'm fear. Go of, back. I'm going back. Well, then just go back to the other. How hard <laughs> Marty, is it? we've got to go back. <laughs> yeah. to, to go back to your fear of people looking in at you through There's windows. <laughs> I I developed the same fear a few years ago after I after I had started working third shift security. Um, the my little office area where I would hang out hang out in at, at the uh, their their retirement home was the um, maintenance garage, and I had my own little office. And then there was the director of uh, maintenance and grounds office on the other side and then there was the garage on the other side of that mm -hmm. or on, on the other side of me so I was a, I was the central part of the building and the maintenance director's office was always locked and I had full access to the big ass garage and I only had three windows I had the window that the air conditioner was in the very small door window and there was a window in the door that goes to the, to the director's office, and then so his office is full of windows. Beautifully claustrophobic. Yeah. Um, and being from, at first it was 5 p.m. to 5 a.m., and then it turned to 5 p.m. to 7 a.m., um, I was terrified to look, look out through any windows, yeah. because I was afraid that, that there was going to be something there. Um, 
And then one night, my supervisor supervisor came to like check up on me for some reason, and he's black. And oh god, that's pretty scary. <laughs> it was scary because he came up to the door that had the window in it, and he was looking like the the window is like half the size of my laptop screen. Like that's how wide it was. That's terrible. What kind of window? It was just like a, a door window. So for an eyeball. Or and down. and he, yeah. it was it was it's like real tall there. and like real skinny. Yeah. And he's he's like looking in it, like cupped hands and everything, looking through it. I couldn't see anything outside of it, and the the outside light hadn't turned on yet. And then I hear like this little like tap 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 sound, and I turn around and all I see is eyes and teeth. <laughs> and like I flipped over the table that was next to me, and he I just hear like this this laugh and like what the fuck is going on? So I grab um, there's a wall of like different tools, and one of the tools was um, a pipe clamp. So I grab a pipe clamp and off just the wall, beat the shit out of you. and I go, I go to meet this thing at the door, and you beat a quarter boat out of it. <laughs> and, oh my god! And he's just, he's just standing there, doubled over in laughter. That I flipped over this table, and I met him at the door with his pipe clamp. He's like, "It's good to know that you're on your game, but I think you need to settle down just a little bit there, guy." <laughs> and and since then, I've just been terrified of windows at night. <laughs> Mostly because and that game, specific, by the way, was the Ku Klux Klob- Cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> I was also terrified because a couple of the nurses and I had this um, ongoing game of scaring each other. I thought you were going to say of hating black people. <laughs> <laughs> we had this and game, right, where we gave them less I money. Said, and I said, them them. <laughs> and there, there was this one room downstairs that was the training room for new nurses, and they had a CPR dummy. And I it just, it just came to life and just started. No, it was it was one of them that fuck. it's just the torso and the head and neck, and it, it uh, had like the. It didn't the, have creepy golem eyes. No, it um, had it had it essentially had the like blow up doll face, and it had a wig on. What's a blow up doll face? Like with like an open like, mouth hole? Yeah, it was just. <laughs> oh, did you ever teabag it? No. How did you not teabag the open mouth blow <laughs> doll? You, you, you I had to check so this room. It was. I did. It was Essentially, in a closet, there it was enough okay. room for a bed and a chair, and that was it. And, and a bed chair. Yeah, and a bed chair. Exactly. And it was it was a room off of the main hallway, and I had to check that room because there was a bed in it. There was suspicion of of other employees sleeping in the bed. Can I just night. tell you that if you have a blow up doll in a bed there, that Blow up doll was full of more semen than any <laughs> boat in the navy. That's not there's a, no air in it's not anymore. a blow up doll. Semen. It's a CPR doll. No, oh, only I, I was just yeah. imagining a filthy, no. stinking doll that you you just like it. the maintenance crew would go down and ravage it. You can't even lift it anymore from the come inside. inside. <laughs> It's like so, this this smells like a fresh baked young love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just ruin this thing. I had to check this room like every round I went on. This is a good idea. Thank you. And um there was a light switch in the room, but I didn't like if there was someone in there I didn't want to turn on the light switch and like freak him out. I'd rather like freak him out myself, like crawl into bed with them or whatever. So like I had I had like this big ass like mag light, so I turn on the mag light and just like sweep in real quick. Well, they have this doll, like, propped up in the bed or, like, <laughs> propped up in the chair. Oh, Sometimes they would, like, and drag the it out in the hallway and, like, like prop it up against something. So it would be, like, like half leaning out from from one side of the wall. So it's, like, this little kid that's, like, peeking around the wall. And oh, I come shit. around the corner. And, like, there's this, like, small child at the end of the hallway just staring at me. Oh, God. This yeah. sounds more like Silent Hill. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is how we entertained ourselves. Let's look. In a, in All my stories ended with me hitting it with a fucking mag light. <laughs> yeah. I, I did I did punch it once. Like my, my first night I did punch just it once, once because I didn't know what it was. It scared me and my first reaction is to punch it. So then I walked upstairs and I was like, true. Hey, yeah, I punched true. your CPR doll. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know how you guys feel about that, and they started laughing, so then that's when they decided that they were just going to move it around and scare the shit out of me. I have two thoughts on that story. Go ahead. And when I say thoughts, I mean we're done with that story. Right. <laughs> I've got some amazing <laughs> stories of my own. Go ahead. <laughs> um, uh, the first was my, my mom was dating some rando, and <laughs> I got drunk with one of my friends, and he was like, I'm going to go scare the shit out of your mom's boyfriend. Because she, had, she, what she would do is That's like she would hang out. I, I lived with my mom like right after college, and we would drink on the porch. And every now and then, like she'd go up in the middle of the night, come out and have like a cigarette with us and stuff. And my friend was like, "I'm gonna go get him." 
<laughs> so, <laughs> my that friend, solid, yeah. was your friend Don the Bounty Hunter? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get Jesus, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, he takes off all of his clothes. All right, good and, he, and he crawls into bed with this guy. And he starts spooning him and, like, hugging him. And, like, he's, like, rubbing his beard into this guy's ear. And this guy, like, me and Mom are hiding on the outside of the room, like, giggling like little children. We're like, hee, 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 he's gonna rape him. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, this guy, at first, like, we hear him whisper, like, <laughs> like that's my mom's name, and he's like, "There's no Beth here." <laughs> and he's like, "What?" It's only cool. <laughs> and like, we can see, we can see like the snuggle turn into like a struggle. And he's snuggle, like holding snuggle. this guy down, and he's like, "Wait, what?" And he's like, "Let it happen, let it happen." And for like the next five minutes, he's just fighting this fifty-year-old man naked in bed, going, "Let it happen, let it happen," like more and more aggressively holding him down and like snuggling in his ear. All this guy was just making. The childish noises you've ever seen, like if you've ever just like jumped out and literally scared and shouted, he's just like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like it was no joke to this guy for a solid five minutes, and like he finally came out, and he's like, Beth, your friends, <laughs> your son's friends are assholes, and he's like all mad, marching around in like tidy white. <laughs> I'm picturing him. He was walking really awkwardly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> if you're if you're looking, he had that uh, horse stick at him. <laughs> <laughs> he just walks. It's like all right. He, he came. It's all right. He came. He came. He came. Um, he walked but the, he was the second thing I was thinking about while you were talking is you were talking about uh, you're how you matter. and your disgusting friends would fuck that doll. <laughs> and I remember one time, and I won't get into this too much, but I went to a transgender Jello wrestling match, Good. and. Um, they were doing this thing where you could uh, get that, like I, I just I just want to clarify is that like men dressed as women or like transgender um, jello <laughs> transgender jello it was jello. just like it's really lime but it's mm-hmm. supposed to be orange <laughs> <laughs> it, they would just jello. give you uh, dick and ball shaped jello and then you'd cut off the balls and smash the top of the jello back into itself. Uh, and they could never have babies, but you know, you, you have to respect people's identity. Uh, but no, it was dudes who looked like ladies and ladies who looked like dudes, okay. and it was some people who had some very confusing things going on. And people who I don't know what they were. Uh, yeah, it would they just be like people. it would just be like a lady got, who was really hot but also with a penis. You got, and you'd be like, oh, you, got, no. you got he, she, and they. <laughs> And that mad. mannequin from the video we played. But, uh, you know, I I, uh, I give mad respect and love to whoever, whatever they want to do. That's not the point of the story. The point of the story is they were doing a um, ticket giveaway contest of sex toys. And what they do is they measure, like, the tickets from the tip of your dick to the bottom of your feet. And my friend went because he's much taller than me. And uh, we ended up winning a basket of sex toys. And one of the items was a fake black girl mouth. That's and he was like, I don't think I'm going to use this fake black girl mouth. And I said, I will. <laughs> now, it's I was a naive, it. naive young man. Uh, so this is going to be a lesson out there for you listeners. If you get a fake black girl mouth, you can't just fuck it. Uh, that's the mistake I made. So I took it home, like immediately made myself hard. And then I just ruined this fake black girl mouth. I just tore it apart like the lips shredded. Like it broke at the corners. Like it was like I tore someone's real life jaw off. <laughs> and like I I'm not, I, I don't have like a big dick. Like I have got like a normal guy dick. And I just ruined this fucking mouth and tore it in half like someone just split open a Pac-Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, whenever you get caught, it's like, boom, 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 boom. Like that's what happened <laughs> to this fake black girl mouth over my penis. And I was like, why? And I was like, it didn't have to be like this. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. I buried it. And <laughs> what happened? <laughs> but, like, I told my friend the next day, I was like, I fucking ruined that fake black girl mouth. And he's like, well, how did that happen? And I kind of just said, like, here's what happened. And he's like, you didn't use any lube? And so I realized, like, what happened is, like, I used no lube. So I had a, just a dry piece of plastic like turning inside out <laughs> on my penis, like <laughs> oh my it was like the ribbed inside, like I saw the inside of the lips. So I was like, this is weird. But I just like I just fucked my way through it until I finished because I'm a fucking gamer. I'm in it to win it and I just ruined this big black girl's mouth. So if you ever get a sex toy at home, kids, that you wanna fuck, like, you know, put I'll a little put a little dab on it or you're gonna ruin a perfectly good fake black girl's mouth. Yes. Alright. 
I want to go back to something. This is the best podcast. <laughs> ever. I want to go back to something much tamer. <laughs> Oh, where's the fun in that? So horse dick, right? <laughs> and let's get back to what we are all interested in, the horse cars. <laughs> in this corner. <laughs> in the other corner's horse clit. All the way back to the second fad that I found. Oh, oh okay. I all the way to... forgot about that. I didn't get a word in, but that's okay. We're here now. That's we're, okay. We're, back, all, we're, we're all here together. together. Your first point was, aren't people on the internet silly? Maybe <laughs> yeah. you got Come hard. Come hard. <laughs> <laughs> What? Uh, okay, but the other one is is a, a fad called swatting. Have you guys heard of this? No. It's like flies. Right? I don't want to know. No. This is where uh, someone of of venerable trollity will will trollity are they trolls? Trollity, yes, they're trolls. Uh, do they have little jewels in the belly button? Sure. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Continue. They had wild pink hair. There has to be like some kind of like uh, slash fic where someone just chains a Teletubby down and just watches porn on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that little television in their stomach is like, oh yeah, fuck, just watching the horse porn video. Just, oh god, and the Teletubby is just like, Diddy, or whatever they're called. You know, the P. Diddy Teletubby. <laughs> And he's just down there like, I just want to rap, you guys. And this guy's just blowing load after load on this poor Teletubby's face in his porn dungeon being like, this is Where did that thought come from? From Wes. Where else would it come from? Thank you so much for being you. (laughs) Yes. Let me tell you guys about swatting. Ah, Teletubby porn. (laughs) Relevant, right? Yeah. It's where where somebody will will call the phone 911 Mm -hmm. and say, there's this guy across the street who is holding hostages and he has a bomb. And so the SWAT team will come and he's he's like the person calling will be like, Okay, yeah, here's his address, go get him. And the SWAT team will come and arrest this random person. Cool. Oh, that I, I saw there was a thing that some guy was playing something. Some guy online. this guy was, was streaming. Yeah. I mean, and he had someone call the cops on him. Yeah. Now keep in mind this guy was completely innocent, didn't even know this was happening to him. Mm-hmm. It was just some fucker that he knew uh. his address. So he called nine one one and said, This guy has a bomb, go and arrest him. So while he's recording Call of Duty or whatever you just see, like, he's got a face cam going on. He's, like, he's just there. Yeah, I'm blowing shit up over here. Yeah. Get him! <laughs> and yeah. three guys in in, in, a, in SWAT uniforms come in, and they got guns pointed at him, and he just, like, puts up his hands real slowly and just, like, gets on the ground. Best <laughs> yeah. video ever. Yeah. I mean, the best or the worst, but it's, like... How sadistic do you have to be? How how, how much, sadistic do you have to be? How, how bored do you have to be? How much how like Wes Williams do you have, have to be? This is all the cops and say really this guy up. has a bomb. Go arrest him. See, that's not the Wes Williams style. Uh, you don't send boys to do a men's work. Uh, I would just get drunk and <laughs> I would just have a shirt that says "fuck you" and I would just break down the door and be like, "You want to die, faggot?" And then I just hold and a gun then, in his mouth. And be like, video games are queer, and I just do weird stuff to him. I would reenact the Teletubby thing. I would draw the television on his belly. I would draw the horse porn on his belly. I'm just saying, you know, I I really. (laughs) I'm like, your name's Diddy now, and he's like, my name's Toby. Like, no, no. When I do revenge, it's got to be personal. I want to see that fear. I want to smell it. I love. You are terrific. I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I'm. I'm pretty speechless at this point. <laughs> Wearing a shirt that says "fuck you" is like the most Mike O'Donnell thing I could do. <laughs> I love like, his who? fuck hat. <laughs> I love his fuck hat too. I want it. I can make my own. You want a, You want his fuck hat? I want a fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. I. I want to fuck his hat. No, like it, it was such a clear, concise it thought. Two glasses of wine. It, it happened too wine. quick. This it happened was one too cup. quick. Glass. You only had one glass of wine. That's it. Takes more than that to affect me. Well, here's only one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't need Come it. No, Come I'm driving. Come here. I gotta drive. Is that true? Oh, yeah. No, no one's drive. driving my car. I'm done. You guys suck. I'll drink at the comedy clam. Yes, you uh, I will suck. You, suck. you know what? Clam. You, you suck. Comedy clam. You, you suck. suck. <laughs> you suck. Mix it in with your You problem. suck. 
Yeah, no, like, a a hell, like a real man. Looks, looks like someone terrible. shit all over that cup. Looks like someone shit all it's over you. It stinks. <laughs> it stinks. It stinks. Yes, we've got Sherman, every case. <laughs> walking hot topic Casey over here wearing a shirt that says whatever floats your goat. Like, uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, wait a minute. It, that's, that's a thing. Yeah, oh, that's a thing. What is it? <laughs> it's, it's the modern day equivalent of a shirt that has an arrow on it that says he farted. Like, <laughs> yeah. you just fucking suck for wearing that. And I just wanted everybody at home who can't appreciate that. I just want us to be friends. <laughs> and while I'm shitting on people, Erica, you're wearing a shirt. Um, is this a roast now? What is it, it is. Hey, yeah, hey, you I'm wearing a shirt. What's the name of this band? I hope so. Ghost. Because I saw you post something about them, and yes. like it looked really cool, because this, this band, Ghost, has this like demon pope leader. Who wears, like, a, who wears a mask? That's a mask he wears. No yeah. one knows what he looks and like. And it looks pretty badass. It looks yeah. like a rancid shirt come to life. Ghost I made fun of myself all Ghost Pope. Pope. And it was like, oh, Thank satanic you. ghost Pope. And His I was name like, is Papa Emeritus the <laughs> second. I want that to be a band yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> ghost Pope. Satanic Ghost Pope. <laughs> so satanic ghost Pope, I see this and I'm like, this guy's got to be badass. And, he's and not. her and her friends are like, the baddest ass this motherfucking satanic ghost pope. And, <laughs> and so, like, I'm like, I'm into badass satanic ghost pope shit. I'm going to watch this on YouTube. It could not have been any weaker. It is the complete it, opposite it, of what they look like. Which it is, is like if sync was satanic. Well, what, it is just well, the song, girliest, lamest what? people. Because I looked up, I just Googled Ghost, what song the band. You play? I'm and curious. like I saw, and I forget what the band or the song was called, but like it was, a, they were doing an interview with the cu- guitarist, and he's like, "Well, when we started this band, I just came up with this riff, and I was like, fuck, this riff is too heavy for anybody who stand, doesn't love the stand devil.' By, stand by him. And I was like, "Well, I have to listen to it now, right? Because <laughs> I love." Was it Stand by Him? Who cares? How the fuck would I know? It's no, not gonna add value. Maybe remember if I said it. Maybe you remember if I said it. And so I'm like, I've got to hear the super super heavy super. riff. I love soup. I love metal. This is one of those two things. That'll be my next band. Soup is anonymous. If, if Satanic Ghost Pope made soup, they would be the best thing ever. And I want to be the best thing ever. It would be the soupest pope. I would be the soupest pope. He comes out and says, I haven't had one. It's like. It's like how Dita Von Teese does that thing in the martini glass. He comes out in just a bowl of soup. <laughs> He's just pouring clam chowder on his cock. <laughs> Who loves the devil? Just pouring. <laughs> like, I don't know what to make of this right now. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, I go to YouTube and I watch this, meta, uh, this metal soup video for the heaviest, <laughs> soupiest riff. <laughs> just the clam chowderest riff. <laughs> Can't be handled by anyone who doesn't love Satan. <laughs> like, if you don't love Bisque, get the fuck out. <laughs> and it is just like Backstreet's Back, but with the devil. Where instead of, oh, baby, it's like, oh, Satan, you wreck my world right now. And I'm like, this is so gay. <laughs> it's just them, like, fluffing the devil's balls. <laughs> that is how it is. That's exactly They're how it lovingly is. blowing raspberries on his devil buttocks. Like, <laughs> So I love you, Satan. You and it is the lamest, gayest <laughs> devil thing that has ever happened. And I was like, fuck you, Erica, for taking five minutes of my life to look up a Google article. Like, it was on, like, fucking corkscrew. And then I went to YouTube. I made an afternoon out of being disappointed <laughs> by satanic Backstreet Boys because of your fucking Facebook post. And now you're wearing that shirt. Sorry. You, you screwed that up. Sorry. So, what have we learned today? I shop at JCPenney and you're, <laughs> you're gay for ghosts. I'm gay for ghosts. I'm gay for soup and... <laughs> Soupy ghosts. <laughs> wait, how, wait, they're all guys though. How the hell am I gay for yes. ghosts? Okay. You yeah, it's just a yes. <laughs> it's just a yes. <laughs> Christ. Christ. Do you people love gumbo and the devil? <laughs> like, yeah! <laughs> Put some crawdads in that motherfucker. A bunch of people from New Orleans in the front row. Look at me! Jesus, what's alive? Put some sausage in it. And they're Swedish. <laughs> Who here loves jambalaya? And the, and the lead singer, whenever he's been interviewed, he only talks in Italian. Or Latin. Like, I listen to Italian. Yeah, okay. I know. that. Pick a language. I didn't I didn't Both. believe you before. Italian Latin. Now he's good. Probably. It's all... It's, and it's, he wears... And the mask he wears without the makeup makes him look like uh, Heisenberg. 
<laughs> without the beard. Like, from the chin up, you're like, okay, this guy looks like he could have been, like, a, you know, in, like, Insane Clown Boss, and he's got... Uh, the, no, 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 Whatever, no. shut up. He's oh, got... Oh, God, I fucking hate Insane Clown Boss. You're down to clown, right? I am not down with the clown, Charlie The video pulls out, he's just wearing Uggs, drinking Starbucks. Okay, you guys, let's drop up some carrots, hell Satan. Like, oh, this fucking sucks. He's driving a Jeep, just giving some guy a hand job. Ugh. I don't want to meet anyone who sounds like that when they give a hand job. <laughs> my, first, my first sexual experience was a hand job on a hayride. While we listened to, oh, what's that song? Teenage Dirtbag? Does uh, anybody yeah. remember that song? Like that. Nope. We yeah. stayed behind because I complained of a fake <laughs> bellyache, and she, in the driest hand job that ever happened, made me come. Uh, okay. While we listened to Teenage okay. Dirtbag, uh, and she avoided eye job? contact with me, just grinding it out. Like she was by hand trying to take the corn off a cob. <laughs> 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 just grinding it out. And I was like, oh, this is great. Like this is going to be sex special. forever. Ew. We, we comedians live the happiest lives. I don't want to hear any blowjob that sounds like <laughs> or <laughs> that was a, that was a, the Hank Hill blowjob. <laughs> 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 like a guy falling off a cliff. That's what a good blowjob sounds like. <laughs> 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 Come for what? <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Christ. Oh. All no, right. a blowjob's not a good blowjob and she, until she gets the I'm stoned eyes. You know what I mean? Where they think, like, go, Ugh! and then they look up and their eyes are watering and their eyes are all red like the yeah. devil's dick. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I just went on a bike ride. <laughs> and, then you pour, and then you pour soup on it and you're done. <laughs> yeah, just like, clam chowder, praise <laughs> Satan. <laughs> like, if you're not into he's chowder been, and Satan, just get off my Satan dick. Satan chowder. He's been possessed by ghost poke. <laughs> I've always wanted can to we, be possessed we, by ghost poke. Can we make that a new trend? Just dump ghost the poke? soup on people? Yes. Please. And, uh, and, and, just, and then you just yell ghost poke. Just for the record, like, when I think about the person in general who I remember that happening with, she also gagged me. So it wasn't like, uh, like, I think a good <laughs> session of You gave me her a job? I was going down on her. I, I know. And, like, I kind of got, like, the uh-oh hiccup. Where, like, you know, you're trying to get that initial sheem off, like, you're trying to get the paint uh, off the deck yep. with your tongue, and you're like, alright, you haven't showered today yet, but, like, a solid minute, and I'm gonna take, like, the skim off this milk, yep. and you're just, ugh, <laughs> oh, ugh just lapping God. it off, but, like, I kind of, like, skins? yeah, yes, like, I, I bit yes, off more than I can chew, and, like, you know when it just looks like overstuffed luggage, like, I was kind of, like, <laughs> I was kind of, like, pulling out on my like, teeth a little bit, like, trying to be naughty, and, like, it wasn't even the taste, like, the smell caught me odd. And I was like, boop! <laughs> and, like, she I, thought that I was going to hit, like, the abort mission button, so she just slapped the back of my head down, and I was like, Brr! And, like, she just, like, she just held me down there for, like, a solid, like, five minutes. And, like, and, like I was like, I'm going to troop through this, but I ended up just fucking her with my nose, because, like, my mouth couldn't take what was going on anymore, so I just slid <laughs> down in her sweaty fucking And then cane. it swallowed your head, and then the and rest of you. And then I just grinded my mustache and nose in there. And then you ate soup. And then we ate soup. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Here's how I knew no. it was love. Afterward, <laughs> afterward, she made me cereal and cut up candy bars in it. And that's how I knew we were in real love. So, you yeah. kids at home, Clean if palate. someone uh, rapes you with their pussy <laughs> while you're going down on them, if it she happens. makes you cereal afterwards, it's not rape. Like, no means no until she puts candy. You hear that, Tumblr? Until you put Snickers bars in Cocoa Puffs. You don't know what love is. <laughs> no one from Tumblr would be listening this far in. I know they wouldn't. They would hear the sound of, 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 of Wes's voice and be like, oh, hell no. You know uh, you're doing a good job when you pull back and it just looks like you bit out of the greasiest cheeseburger. Like, there's just strings hanging off of your face. Like, you just got out of, like, a swamp. Like, you remember in Apocalypse <laughs> Now? And you have to go, like, that to your... In you Apocalypse Now, right before he kills that guy, and his yep. head's just rising out of the river, that's gotta be you coming out of her legs. <laughs> <laughs> just covered in a thick film of her happiness. That's love, you guys. Oh, yeah. And like I said, if your jaw just locks up, and you have to... Oh, yeah. yeah. When you get a good case of the lock jaw. Yep. <laughs> Erica knows. I do. Like, uh, the thing is, like, I enjoy, like, uh, you know, every, it seems like a trend is that nobody shaves down, or everybody shaves down there. I, I like a little bit of, like, a landing pad. And, like, um, the cool thing about that is, like, and maybe I'm a pervert, 
but you got a little bit of like floss oh. later, you know what I mean? Like you're just walking around and you're like, that was some mighty good sex. And then like you go <laughs> and like you're getting ready for like nappy nap time and you look and you just got a curly cue in your tooth and you're like, ah, that's right, that's what I did. Like little trophies it's to like carry with you. Yeah. Like, uh, like, never the, thought of it that way. good job, champ. <laughs> like, did you ever have, <laughs> did you ever have morning sex? Greasy and then you go off to work, and then, like, later that day, you go to take a pee, and you smell yourself, and it smells like them, and you're like, that's a little trophy. That's a little, yeah. that's a little first place trophy that's just made a nice little white film on my balls. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, whoever you are out there. <laughs> Thank you, woman at a truck stop. <laughs> Here's some soup. <laughs> that was some good soup. <laughs> Oh, soul's back. It is back. Soul. Soul, soul is back. <laughs> back in town. Nothing screams romance like I really trying to see the middle of snowball. the floor play. <laughs> I've done that. Speaking of snowball. That was fun. I got stuck. What would you try doing foreplay? Um, we were making out, and I decided I'm just going to be me, and I just go, and I just like breathe as, as hard as long as I can into her mouth, and her, her cheeks just inflate. And she's like, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, chipmunks. And she slapped me. And now you're married. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Thank like, you. They think it's funny, too. I used to, like, sock puppet this one lady's boobs. Like, <laughs> like one was named Laverne, <laughs> one was named Shirley. Shirley. And then, like, I just make them talk to each other. And be like, did you forget to pay the light bill? <laughs> and, like, <laughs> just have little breast adventures with each other. And that's how we ended sex all the time. And I, I don't know why we didn't have kids, you know? Soup <laughs> kids. I wish I could have been that Soup <laughs> kids. kids. I'll keep that in mind next time. Soup kids. Or, you know, it's they just look like Cookie Monster eyes, like right before he has like a big bowl of cookies. And <laughs> my mom and crookers. My mom and crookers. God, nipples are the best. Like, <laughs> they're pretty, they're no okay. one, no one prepares you for how stable. awesome real breasts yeah. are. Like, um, because I, I grew up on a steady diet of awful, stupid, shitty pornography where it's all, like, big, fake breasts. Yeah. Like, real breasts are the best because they're, like, did they're you ever get, like, breasts. a Teenage Mutant they're Ninja Turtles? They're the breasts, yeah. huh? Yeah, like, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles kit where they fell into the goo? Uh-huh. That's what real boobs are like. Like, they're just, like, fun, gooey toys. And, like, if, like, if they're big breasts and she holds her arms up, they fall into her armpits. Like, that will never not be hilarious to me, <laughs> to just see, like, nipple armpits. And I'm just like, <laughs> Like, uh, so if you're going to try and date me and you've got larger breasts, I'm going to play with them. And that's going to be, like, my fun for the afternoon. I already, yeah. I always like to do salmon upstream as we're making out. Like, I'll, I'll just, like, reach up for sure and go, and just, like, real fast. I got slapped a lot when I... I, I can imagine you would. I wouldn't want anyone doing that to me. I'm not sure if I'm impressed or horrified there are all these terms. Well, it's not exactly a term. I'm just saying it's like a salmon upstream where it's well, like... Well, it's a term now. I knew You're a, welcome. I knew a guy. And the thing is, like, the more handsome you are, the more shit you can get away with. Like, I have, like, three funny sex stories... But I had a friend uh, who used to, like, <laughs> I don't know what you guys do when you're about to come. Like, lady, man, I feel like everybody has something where they're like, I'm about to go. Yeah. <laughs> but he'd go, I'm about to gunk. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Which is the least sexy thing you can possibly say. Like, someone would be blowing on me, like, oh, it's about to gunk. <laughs> like, no. I, I take it out of my mouth and say, uh-uh. <laughs> you're not going to gunk in my mouth. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's Jesus. disgusting. Oh, that is disgusting, too. I can't. Just basically any word that begins with the letter G is not, like, good or great. And just it. someone whispers in your ear, you want the gunk in you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care no, how much I you don't. like that person. You don't want the gunk in you. Oh, <laughs> you want the gloop. And, like, Patton Oswalt has that awesome skit about that where, like, when he was working on some network TV show... They always made him write around things, and he was like, look, like, sometimes it's just so much more straightforward to be like, yo, like, I, I'm, I'm, do you want me to come in your pussy? Like, that's fine, but, like, because you have to write around it, he would always end up being like, I want to put my hoo-ha juice in your fucking fun cave. <laughs> like, yeah. that's so much more mortifying. Oh, you put it in that fun cave. <laughs> fun cave. Fun cave? Uh, fun Ooh, cave. who's got the fun cave? <laughs> See, I do. I trip- wish... This transitions beautifully into one of the other things I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah. I, since I'm in college to become a teacher at some point. Oh my god, really? Yeah. yeah. You have, you you have to the wrong the profession. No. I'm not, Guys, this is what the fun came I'm is. afraid that someone someone in my class is going to have it upon Brewcast. <laughs> <laughs> they have it internet upon, savvy, yes. They and have then it they're upon, just done. <laughs> I'm just done. 
Please leave our college, sir. <laughs> No, you can, you're not even allowed to graduate. You can't have a degree. No, like so, like when I become a teacher, and, I know. Oh. And yeah. somebody I know in that, somebody in that in my class happens upon. Yeah. Heard you guys talking about that Walter, horse cock. We saw your <laughs> videos. What is this? What is horse cock? <laughs> I think they're gonna know what horse cock is. Like I don't. I don't, I don't know about you that. guys, but middle schoolers and, and high schoolers. Is it a hybrid a horse or... rooster? No, that is uh, just been transmogrified in some trans- terrifying lab. <laughs> Mr. Coulter, I listened to the bad that bad horse clit, and I think it's terrific. I want I want to know your opinion. On it. <gasps> it's real. How do you feel about souping people? <laughs> Was that Charlie's kid? How do you feel about so much? That wanna, was his kid. That's what he said. I want to like. bend the Perkins. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> You're like, don't go to Mr. The mere mention of Perkins at any time in my life now is just going to be glaring. Oh, it was on, there was a guy on TV the other day. His name was Mr. Perkins. I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. Explain to, explain to Wes what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yes. When we have a recurring character named Denny who just loves Perkins. With yeah. his heart and soul. I was telling him one time, I was just telling him how I went to Perkins with my family, and we went on and on and on about it, and then on the way to a podcast we were doing, Lennon came up with the character, and then we just developed it more with these two, and it's just this fat guy named Denny's who's like 5,000 pounds, and he's just like, <laughs> that's what he sounds like, yeah. and his name is Denny. It's Ironically. Years. Erica tells the best story. That's right. Hey, you ate all those books last week. <laughs> Next topic, you guys cannot believe how big the grass is in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Saw a dandelion out there. <laughs> Shit. It's like three inches. Oh. Oh. So. <laughs> Clam chowder. Oh, okay. Yes. So. I'm oh, excited about something. Yeah. What are you excited about? Nobody cares. Yeah, I know, right? No, no one cares. Nobody cares. Jesus. <laughs> We're terrible. Go on. Yeah. yeah. Um. See, everybody was mad at me for my superficial insults, but Lennon's just like, you're worthless as a person. <laughs> <laughs> like, they can take off those shitty shirts. <laughs> big Wes is always just going to be yeah. Big Wes. His shirts don't yeah. matter. He's always not going to matter. Yeah. Big shitty uh-huh. Wes. Big shitty, big shitty West. With his shitty coffee mug. <laughs> well, hey, that, that's my shitty coffee mug. Yeah. It looks like someone's shit over in this shit splatter. That, <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get to it eventually. Yeah. Yeah. The good part about those cups is you can't microwave them. Because I, I, no I, <laughs> they absorb every bit of radiation of the microwave. <laughs> and like, I swear, it's, like the, it's the red <laughs> of coffee cups. If you yeah. try to touch those cups, <laughs> they are fire hot and the coffee is ice cold. It absorbs the heat from the coffee, from the microwave. Liquid you, cancer. Yes. They're, they're just in your cupboard and you come out at night and like mm-hmm. your whole cupboard's glowing. I don't remember. What, how did Wes, you get why to are you so excited? How did you get to Green? Yeah, what were you talking about, Big Wes? Um, yeah, what are you excited about? Wesley Snipes is coming back to play Blade Ooh. for a time, pretty soon. Nice. Just because. Oh, and Marvel. Ooh, Marvel got that license back. Hey. Yeah, like oh. we got the movie license back. Not only that, but they um, they were looking at um, Joaquin Phoenix. To Gwen Phonix? To play yeah, Doctor Strange. Yeah, I love that guy. To play Doctor Strange. Really? Nah. Alright, sure. There was, a, there, was a, there was a couple Phonics. other names that were thrown around, um, but I I heard that they were really close to Locke and Joaquin Phoenix it. Hmm. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but... I kind of feel like it's just getting to the point in movies now where you pick an actor or mm-hmm. actress and go, which superhero or villain before? do they play? Stop it! <laughs> you know? They just have cute. So many people are. Okay. You're what? creepier. I'd rather. I try to be soup. So many people. <laughs> the are first so rule podcast: movies. don't do shit the audience can't see. Everybody who's just making faces. That's like why kindergartners you know, have a bus I, window. You know, I got real pissed one episode, and I made them explain every visual yeah. thing that they did for the rest of the episode. Yep. Was that? It was like a thing a minute at least. I I did a uh, Lamar Lee and Jabri Lee's podcast, and Jabri just cannot. Like, he feel like he had this thing where he was trying to show me how someone mad dogged him, and we just had like three minutes of silence where he's like, and then it was like this, <laughs> but then I was like, and then everybody was like, and I was like, you gotta fucking use your words. There's, 
This is not a visual medium, Dum Dum. <laughs> that would have worked with us a couple months ago because we, a couple months ago, we used to do video podcasts. We used to do video, yeah. But we lost the area that we did the video shoots in. So no one wants to see you guys. It's fine. Yeah. No one wants to see you. I, I, I find it. I find it. Views, I, think, I find it. I don't remember. Some kind of word that before Speaking we used word. and and now after we did video podcasts were more visual. But during the video podcast, we're just like, hey, uh, this is this is what's going on. And we would just sit there. Yep. During the video, we would just sit there. But when it's just audio, like, we're all, like, fucking... Flailing around, jumping around, lighting things on fire. No. Running around the room. You know how we be. Yeah. yeah. What time you uh, said it was? After you mentioned uh, that House of Cosby show. Yes. I went oh, and watched that. Isn't it funny for, like, one episode? One episode, well, that's well, it. One episode is all I saw, oh, so... Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, I don't need to see that. Wasn't it episode. funny? I don't know what to think of that. Was, I don't even I remember anything. I don't it, was remember like, anything about it was just a little bit creepy. Yeah. It's just a little bit. The series ends in a really weird way. If I... Well, it wasn't supposed to, like, end where it ended, but Bill Cosby actually told the guy, stop making these. (laughs) (laughs) You know that guy really does actually love Bill Cosby. Oh, yeah. The guy who made that. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. (laughs) It's gotta gotta hit me somewhere in here. (laughs) To be to to have your in the jugular? To, to, yeah, <laughs> right about there. To uh, to have the person you look up to go stop it. Yep. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Then there, there's one other thing I have I have to bring up. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That is no. never my <laughs> soup. Yes. I thought we didn't have topics. This is bullshit. He has a list. He does have a list. He always has a list. I always have a list. Which is nice because we never have a list. And we never get to his full list anyway. That's good. I can carry over to the next show. Yep. Yep. I sometimes have like one or two things. Yeah. But I don't. Gen- I didn't. I just didn't understand it. I, I love and hate YouTube comments. Nice. There's this okay. video that I have made about. The question that I ask, that I ask and a- try to answer is, can we go outside the universe? Oh, and you know, yeah, I've, I've read those comments like once every other week. You know week. that people are just going to have a field day with that. Yep. Oh, yeah. Of course they will. It, this one particular set of comments is just two guys arguing the same thing, uh, not realizing they're arguing for the same team. God, that sounds fun. The original, the original thing that this guy, that this one completely different guy posted was something that sounds intelligent. I don't know how right he is. It just sounds intelligent. So just because it sounds, it doesn't mean it is. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The response to that, the first guy says, outside is relevant to what you are in. If you are outside your house, you say you're outside. You're in but it. But you're still outside the ozone layers, etc. Yep, I am outside the ozone layer when I'm outside my house. Yep. Okay. Correct. Starting at a high okay, point. Okay, yeah. The response. But there is no outside of the universe at all. Just absolute nothingness. If you go outside the universe, you simply don't exist. There is no space time for existence to occur. <laughs> okay, doctor. What? <laughs> Go. Okay. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. First uh, guy responds, but is there even nothingness? The universe. Is there even? The universe is everything. I aliens. can't even. I can't even. Aliens. I smoked way too much pot before I watched this video. Seriously. Second guy responds, since the universe is everything, there literally is no outside. No boundary. Revenge. And then the first guy just responds with, right. <laughs> well, you, you know how I told you guys about that? These are two stoners. It's like, it's, like Bill, it's like Ted from Bill and Ted. Yeah. Like, the first movie Ted and the second movie Ted got together and just started talking. Keanu Reeves' character. That's and they just started ass. They just started Ted, talking yeah. to each other. That, just throw in, throw in a uh, Strange Things or a Flirt in Circle K, and you can you can have Bill and Ted's <laughs> excellent, excellent Adventure 3. I like the idea that are you are just that? the world's yeah. biggest big in, uh, Bill and Ted fan. And you're like, well, the second one's not really canon. But, uh, you know, if you want to I never the said word. any of that shit. Like, I, I, I just forget which one of them they meet them. I just forget which one of them they meet them. If I may direct your attention to my spreadsheet. Fuck yo. <laughs> Bill and Ted's uh, just, formula suggests uh, <laughs> that if you have a rockin' dude in 1984, put that rockin' dude in 2005. 
all of a sudden a DeLorean pulls in. Boom. Was, what year is this? Speaking of Well, he's dead. We gotta get back to the computer. Yes. Speaking Mom, of ridiculous people on YouTube, I posted, go right ahead. I posted a video of my cat like seven years ago of her just <laughs> meowing, and it got 600,000 views on it. And there are three. Cat. Yeah, and there are of three course. or four pages of, of comments of these two going back and forth arguing over my cat. Oh, I thought they were just, like, calling each other faggot and stuff. If they were, ever, because of my cat. <laughs> if ever there was a more pointless thing to argue about And And internet. it's not just, you know, just one person said it and then someone commented back. It was three or four pages. I was scrolling down and that's all it was. And then some girl tried jumping in and saying, hey, that's this. not right. What is that video called? Uh, I never... I don't know. You'd have to go to my page... I never read YouTube comments. My YouTube. Yeah. But it, it seems like that Twitter's a little bit fun. better, and the only reason it's better to me is because weird Twitter exists. <laughs> like, my favorite comments to read are when someone says, like, something weird and sincere, like this uh, this politician the other day posted this thing that was just like, you know, retweet this. If you believe in, like, health care for everyone and a fair chance of the American dream, the number one faved comment on that was just some guy who said, Fuck my ass! <laughs> <laughs> and I just was like, What? <laughs> just someone wanted to shout, Fuck my ass! Out into the internet, <laughs> out into space. And it got like 100 things. <laughs> I love it. That's, that's like the internet in like a nutshell. Basically. Hey, do you want to try and say something intelligent? No. <laughs> my favorite follower, um, or favorite person that I follow on Twitter, is Jesus Christ because you say right, that as if it's one word. Jesus Christ. Jesus Whatever. Shut Jesus up. Christ. Jesus because Christ. right after Jesus Ultimate Christ. Warrior died, his tweet was some weird muscly guy in in face paint and sweatbands kicked in the pearly gates and power bombed <laughs> power bombed Saint Peter. So I forget what I was going <laughs> All good stories end with zero. <laughs> my uh, my favorite uh, Twitter account. I, I have two <laughs> Twitter accounts that I fucking love. One is called Stealth Mountain. Yeah, I love that. That's which uh, is a play is like a oh play God, on words so kind of a sneak peek, Ninja like Hill. you know, like for like a like a oh, movie. Nice. But all it does is find people who use the wrong peak and just correct them. <laughs> And people argue with this fucking bot, and it's the yeah. funniest goddamn thing ever. Like, it'll, like, it'll correct something, and the people just respond with, uh, don't you have anything better to do than just find my shit? What is wrong with you? I don't know, what do you think your name on? is? Like, <laughs> but I also enjoy, um, I don't know the exact name of it, but all it tweets out are the plots to Seinfeld episodes, if Seinfeld was still on today. <laughs> It's some of the greatest shit. Oh, that just reminded me of something. Um, I think it's called Modern Seinfeld. There's this guy who who does various like 3D CGI animations. Uh, he did one on a couple of Game Grumps. Okay. Uh, but he did one where it was as if the the characters from Seinfeld were characters from Mario. So it was the Mario universe in Seinfeld. Was George Mario like the short no, guy? No, no, George was Toad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah. The shorter, fatter one. Right? And it's got it's got like that that funky bass line where it's like booty booty. Oh yeah. Brr, 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 brr. That brr. funk. Yeah. That's great. Funk. That funk. Whenever I uh, get really drunk and I run out of things to do, I'll look up to some around. weird M- Mugen videos. Oh. Uh, and some people make like little movies out of them. Huh. And I'll be like, Street Fighter versus Mortal Kombat, sure thing. And, like, I'll watch these videos, and, like, some of them are really good, but no one who makes these videos can spell worth a shit. So every line of dialogue is, like, coming for to doom you are. And then it's just Ryu versus Scorpion, and then they both double-team Chun-Li, and I'm already too deep into the fucking internet. Just holding a glass of wine, like, I can't get back now, I'm on an FBI watch list. to finish this shit. That's really fun when you just go into, like, the slowly traverse into the weird part of YouTube. Yeah. Where just, just stuff just stops making sense. To, yeah. but, but to mention, though, Mugen is one of the coolest games I think I've ever just I don't, played. I, I don't know what it is. What is it? it is a game where you... It's a fighting game. And you download any character you want from. Oh yeah, I think you mentioned that once before. 
It's really cool. And some people custom make their own characters and do an amazing job I'm at it. Going to have In the one that, that I had, that sounds awesome. It's incredible. The one that I had, I had the chick from the ring. Didn't you say this? Doesn't she was one like, of like the best characters ever. Didn't you say like it doesn't exist anymore? No, the company that there was a company that made it in the first place, and they just kind of disappeared somehow. But it's just that you have to go to almost you almost have to look for forms and stuff, and like people make their own yeah. Mugen sets that you can start off with. Yeah. yeah, and some of them are like a thousand and more characters. Like, oh, like yeah. they get really good. Now sometimes you'll trade like uh, quality for quantity, and yeah. like you know you have to know who you're All working the with. All Mortal Kombat characters suck in that game because it's just it's the it's sprites built... don't really work with it. No, it doesn't because it's built for like a Street Fighter kind of yeah moral, yeah because like, Mortal, Mortal Kombat Capcom looks, kind looks of like engine. like mocap suits just yeah. But, well, that and the fighting style doesn't match up. Either. Like SNK matches up perfectly fine, yeah. and like stuff like that. Street but Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. Even some of the applied sprites with like Ninja Turtles and stuff can work okay if you have someone and, like doing yeah. a good engineering job. I had Chain Chomp in mind. <laughs> he was just like kind of. I made him a boss character because you can set who you want. Because he was just a, a giant fucking screen filling thing that if he decided to move, you took damage. Hmm. And it, he was definitely beatable, but you just had to pummel the shit out of him, and it was incredible. Did you have Omega Tom Hanks? No. <laughs> you fucking fool. Someone created a character called Omega Tom Hanks. Wow. And it's just Tom Hanks's real head, like, cut out of a picture of Tom Hanks on a stick figure. So it's like, <laughs> like in South Park, whenever they... It's a little bit like South Park. Yeah, and as he walks, yeah, 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 yeah. just, like, That's old crazy. VHS tapes of his movies fly at you. <laughs> and you have to avoid him. And while you're playing, he's just like, Wilson! <laughs> he walks towards you as old videos of his fly at you. It's a Amazing. I love that. That's great. Great. Um, I love the. Uh, I had the ship from Raiden. That was fun. The ship was fun, although it died in one hit. And that was... <laughs> but you could just freely fly around the screen and just keep shooting shit. Yeah, and you have broken characters. Like I remember, someone put in the kid from Death Note, and yeah. if you didn't immediately get to him, he would just kill you because it was a one-hit death every time. If I don't know if anybody knows what you Death can, Note is, you can alter yeah. those uh, damage values though. And, like, how much stun is on a hit and shit. Yeah. I mean, you can alter anything. It's how I made the, the, the Raiden ship fair, because originally it had so much hit stun on it that if you just mashed the, the shoot button, it could just shoot you infinitely until you died. So I had to take, like, all hit stun off, so you had to keep dodging and flying around. So much fun. One of the cooler uh, ones I saw was Mike Tyson from Mike Tyson's Punch-Out!, <laughs> And it's not you lose it's not on the, it's not on the two D screen with you. It looks yeah. like Mike Tyson right there as punch cool. out behind the screen. And what happened is like you would have to like dash forward and back as his like fists came forward. Interesting. Like it would be like kind of like a three dimensional thing. And when his fist came forward, you would have to dash forward and then jump up and like it was kind of like uh, facing Apocalypse and like Marvel Super Hero yeah. versus Street Fighter. Yep. If anybody's familiar with that, mm -hmm. it's not funny anymore. We're just I... nerding out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We have those moments. Yeah. yeah. Like how I spent the week watching original Batman from the 60s. It's been on the original International Batman. Film Channel. Okay. And so that's what I've been doing all after, does every this, afternoon. Does this game, like, is, is it still in existence? I'm sure, game? absolutely. Okay. It's not one game. Mugen is, like, at this point, a general term a used for a system okay. of modifying fighting games. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Because you guys, you got you had talked about it earlier yeah. as if it were, like, it, it was, it existed before, and now it's just kind of, like, remnants of it exist. A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. It's it's hard to explain. Like, there was original, like, it was, like, a type of emulator where you could, like, add different things. But then, yeah. like, it it was, it's basically an umbrella term now because so many people took that basic system yeah. and made it their own thing. Like, at this point, you would go to, like I said, like, a forum or something where people run it, and you would, like, get the package from someone who already pretty much has some version of it set up already. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm but, sure a lot of the websites where I found my characters five, six years ago are probably too gone. Now. Oh, I'm sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a lot of characters lost to time that like a lot of people fell in love mm -hmm. with. Uh, and you basically have to just talk with people and trade them like fucking Pokemon. Like, mm -hmm. each, you know. Yeah. Like, I remember everybody was in... cool, actually. Like, everybody was in love with, like, Cyborg Sagat. And, like, now I think he's harder to find. Like, basically it was, like, Sagat from uh, Street Fighter with, like, um, what do they call that? Like, that invincible armor... Where like he never has to block and super he doesn't armor. have don't get yeah. super armor. Just don't get it confused with cyborg so Saget. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Walk hey, I whenever I play Street Fighter, I, I did find play the Cammy. character from the ring already. Cammy's real good. Hell yeah! She, I learned That's how to play her real well, and 
And she, she was always awesome. my character. See, I was always an E Honda guy. Like I like the challenge of oh, using was... spacing the yeah. sumo. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Using that spacing, so using charge moves, really waiting cool. till my enemy makes like a first mistake. Like he, even though he's like the sumo wrestler character, I think in a lot of ways he kind they of move, has. You move slow, but whenever you come up on someone, you fucking destroy them. Right, right. And if you can kind of like get in that middle ground with like a Shoto or something like that, like you can really use a lot of like judo principles of making people make mistakes. You know what I mean? And like that can be. Fun. Well, that's the whole like Street Fighter Pro Circuit, really. Is yeah. Just like throwing those little fake punches out there and building up a little bit of meter and just waiting for hoping that either your opponent walks into range so that one little punch connects and you get lucky and just do that little bit of damage or you just try and find your way in like i've seen zang Yips and hondas do okay but it seems like for the past four years you have to be and i'm going to use a general term here a claw player i think there was a zangief in top four at evo this year but that's the thing is like Evo for the past four years, as far as Super Street Fighter Two, uh, like that's pretty much been dominated oh, by sorry, Vega was, Claw players. I was kind of talking Street Fighter Four, actually. Yeah, I didn't know about the uh, other Street Fighters. Haven't watched those. I, I I'm really into the, like the classics. Like I love. Yeah. They still bring back uh, like Super Street Fighter Two Turbo. That's cool. And, well, it deserves it. I mean, it's still such a remarkably balanced game. Yeah. That maybe like I, I've even seen like pretty decent T Hawk players. Mm. Like, you can pretty much use... Like, I remember, like, in 2013, I think it was, it was a fucking, uh... Oh, who's who's the, uh... DJ. DJ made it to, like, Final Four. Really? Like, yeah, just fucking randos. Like, they sneak through. And you don't see that a lot. Like, I remember no, at Evo... You know, Marvel last year had one of those guys. Yeah. Of he was using fucking, like... His team was, like, the cookie-cutter team of fuck you. Of Zero, <laughs> Virgil, and Dante. See, I hate that. Like, I remember I rooting like so either. hard for... There's two players in particular that I love in Marvel. One is, um, like, Blue Cane River, the guy who uses Hulk. Hulk. Oh, I love I love his Hulk, man. That is, mm -hmm. like, the best Hulk. And then, I think it was 2012 or 13, the guy who made it to the final eight with the MODOK as the lead Oh, oh yeah, he was the guy from Mexico. I don't remember what his name was. I remember he was from Mexico. That was, like, the... Coolest Modoc ever. Yeah, that yeah, was I always root for characters who aren't completely top tier. Yeah, you just, I just do that. That's Virgil's so more fun it. that way. I'm Virgil's not a, in any way a, a, a fighting game type guy, but I know I can definitely appreciate that sort of thing. Because yeah. like people seem to go into two categories, and I'm in the first one of okay. just the button mashing, see what works. Because back when we we tried to do a whole fighting game like set of videos when that's yeah. a thing still. Yeah. That's all I did. I picked random characters and just button mash. Except in Mortal Kombat 3 where we just all picked Shiva. <laughs> we all picked Shiva. Okay, Shiva. <laughs> we just did that jump over and over again. That <laughs> fucking unblockable come down right above your goddamn a, head jump. That's how I almost won. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was And then there's the other mm. the other section of people where it's all down to a science strategy. I try to do that. And that's so that. cool to me. That, yeah, I try to do that. Something that looks so I, simple. I pick weird so characters, and I think I get an edge in any game that I play by picking weird characters because people are like, "What the fuck is going on?" Yeah, here? And you then can't I kick your ass. You can't predict it. Predict it. Marvel predict it. In Marvel Three, uh, it's not entirely completely obscure, but my my team is Nemesis, Frank West, and Sentinel. Sentinel is pretty high up there. Yeah. Nemesis, not really, but I think I've not got a lot a of good Nemesis. Users. I think I've got well. If I played the game consistently, I would have a good nemesis. I don't even remember my combos basically anymore, but I can. I have a great keep away game with nemesis. Hmm. I always play weird fucking strategies too, like in Super Smash Brothers in N sixty four. I'm Yoshi all the way, yeah. just doing weird shit. <laughs> I've always been Samus. No, no particular reason. Yes. Just, I like Samus. I'm actually in a N sixty four Super Smash tournament tomorrow. Really? Oh. Yeah. Thought lot. In Chippensburg. That's, yeah, that's cool. We're expecting like four people. <laughs> yeah, I'd go to that. Well, this is the first yeah. I've fucking heard of it. That's probably why. Well, yeah. would you like to join us? I'd, I'd go to what that. What time is it? Nine. Nine p.m.? Yeah. Maybe. No, nine in the morning. Because my friend Matt's in it and he works until eight. Okay. So we're going to. And he's going to cancel too. Take a, he's not going to cancel, no. <laughs> he's been so known to do that. Yes. On terrible, <laughs> terrible occasions. <laughs> but he wouldn't do that. Yeah, I'd totally go to that. All right, well, we're looking for just a general audience for people who want to show up. To I am the fun. generalist of audiences. <laughs> I know kind of what's going on. There you go. And that's all you need. There you go. 
I think it's going to be a lot of fun because I play with these guys every Wednesday yeah. for like three or four hours. Oh, Slim Jim's going to be there? No, he's going to win is what he's going to do because he is he and his friend Walker are just incredible. Yeah. And when they first started talking about playing Smash, I said, oh, I'd love to do this. I've always thought I was pretty good at this game. And they, they said, oh, we're very good at this game. And I went over to their place, and they were very good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> but over the last month or two, I have started to, like, 50-50 these matches. That's and awesome. And they're getting pissed. <laughs> now, this, <laughs> this is original Smash Yeah, oh, yeah. Have yeah. you ever seen that video? I think it's called I Can Do That. It's from uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Oh, yeah. And most people uh, put Ike, who's uh, the, one the, one, the one, the yeah. one, the one, the one, fire. no, they put him as one of the worst. Oh, do they? Yeah, uh, like, near the very bottom. Oh. And there's this video, it's like, it's like eight minutes long, of just a compilation of this guy doing the most amazing shit, like, falling clear across the map, almost getting, like, knocked out, yeah. and then just, like, coming back, and then winning, somehow. Wow. It's it's like one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. It's cool when top tier comes back. I love it. Yeah. In, in Brawl, I literally I play the worst character in the game statistically, and I just love to win. And I love to win. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Wes, works. we're just talking now. Should we uh, fucking put a bullet in this thing's head? No, go ahead. Ganondorf. Go ahead and put a bullet in his head. Ganondorf. We stop being in fun. We're just having conversations now. That's how it goes. That's that's oh! that's the worst. That that. Ganondorf. <laughs> the best thing I've ever done in Brawl, I was playing Ganondorf, my friend was playing Link, and Link in Brawl has that wind boomerang to kind of like knock you around a little bit. He went to throw the boomerang and hit a short hop, started charging that Ganon punch. When the boomerang came back, it blew me forward. <laughs> the coolest thing I've ever That's seen. Great. Although I agree with you, we're about done. Yes, yes, yes we are. <laughs> When, when I played Marvel vs. Capcom 3, uh -huh. I haven't found a third fun. yet. Okay. But my first my first is always Zero. Okay. My second is is always Dante. Virgil. It's Virgil. Fucking hack. <laughs> and because I just fucking love him, my third's always Deadpool. Oh. Because I, I just love to throw him in. Just for like crazy shit antics, like just in the middle of in the middle of whatever's going on. He seems on. like the kind of person who would throw a dynamite with a happy face on it. So yeah. you basically threw the janitor on the Steelers, and there's just an amazing pro team around one really yeah. shitty weak spot you've got to hide. Yeah. Very good. And I'm, also, also when I when I do the 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 uh, team combo moves, yeah. His I forget what his um one gun special move is. Bang, 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 bang? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with Zero's and Dante's sword. No, um, I always go with uh, Dante's gun thing, so I got like a trifecta oh, yeah. of just insane gun antics going that on. That just reminded me of something. Very good. Like it. Um, uh, yeah. Was that? Sounds tasty. <laughs> yeah. uh, Soup. Back where I used to live, I, I knew these two guys who were like really, really into Smash Brothers, okay. and they would do like competitions, and they'd be all in. They were so them. into it. They were so into it. How, How into it were they? <laughs> well, they they do it's like the same thing. Like, what's your what's your roster? What's your what are the the, the uh, characters that you do know. best with? Like your top three. And I had only played melee at the time, mm -hmm. so that they, pissed them off. They 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 were talking to me and like. Yeah. I like Game and Watch. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. No. This. This is what they said. Um, they came up to me and they were like, "Yeah. So. So. What's your roster? What are the game, What are the characters you play with best?" And I just named off three random characters that I like, and they're like, "It's a good strategy." <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's I had no good, idea what. The, no idea what they were talking about. Good strategy. It's a good strategy. I don't play anybody but Yoshi. I, I can't get that image out of my head. They were just they like they like it's so so inquisitive. They were so yeah so inquisitive. That's a great strategy. Hot damn! <laughs> <laughs> they just they just look at you. Sweet Sweet fuck. Fuck. Sweet mama. Perfect. Oh man. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, now we can so end can we okay. Okay. But we lost. Yeah, we're it. done. Wes ran away. Wes, come, come back. We need to end oh, the show. I was taking the tinkle. <laughs> we'll come back from the tinkle. <laughs> Tinkle right, intermission. Dick off my hands. Tinkle, tinkle intermission. God. God. You get get or that, stick off your hands. Get that, just gotta get that damn cock. Oh, God. Uh. Oh, it came. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and we're full circle. Yep. So. Say goodnight, everybody. Um, so, so, once we hit the off button, Wes is going to play Five Nights at Freddy's, Which right? Which one? 
Fat yes. West. Yeah. Guest West. West. Guest West. Guest West. Best West. Best from the West. Best Guest West. Yeah. Yeah. I said West. I think it's going to be fun. Yep. <laughs> okay. So All right. Good night, everybody. Good Say night, night, everybody. everybody. Oh, we're not going to. Do you have anything to talk to? Nope. I'm Wes Williams. You can come watch me do comedy. <laughs> Thanks for having me, everybody. <laughs> That's what we're doing, right? <laughs> yeah. Ghost Hope. And I'm Soap Duck on Twitter. Pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about Soup? <laughs> soup on if Twitter. If you love Soup and Satan, I'm Soup, soap <laughs> underscore Duck. Soup and Satan. <laughs> That's all I talk about. I thought it was about. Ghost Pope. <laughs> satanic Ghost Pope. Satanic Ghost Pope. Hail Satanic Ghost Pope. I'm Wes Williams. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.